Unilateral posteroanterior mobilization of the cervical spine. What does the evidence say about cervical mobilizations? Cervical mobilization produces immediate short-term improvements in neck pain, according to Gross et al. 2010. Maitland mobilizations provide immediate and sustained, 12 weeks, reductions in chronic cervicogenic dizziness, according to Reed et al. 2014. There was a greater cervical spine range of movement in four directions for the passive mobilization group compared to placebo. There were no adverse effects, and these results provide evidence that mobilizations have long-term beneficial effects in the treatment of chronic cervicogenic dizziness, according to Reed et al. 2015. Interestingly, Kenlayan Fotporn et al. 2009 found that the patient improved with pain and range of motion whether the mobilization was applied to the painful side or to the non-painful side. This again indicates a more central neurological effect rather than mechanical. Technique. With the patient in prone, the therapist stands at the head of the bed but slightly to the side to be treated. The therapist places their thumbs together and places the thumb pads onto the posterior surface of the desired articular process. The fingers on the treatment side hand should lightly wrap around the neck for slight stabilization. The other hand should rest across the back of the neck. The pressure is in a postero anterior direction but with a slight medial direction to prevent slipping off the articular process. For C1 the pressure should be directed more towards the eyes and for C6 and 7 it should be more towards the feet. This is a Maitland mobilization, so use the Maitland mobilization grading system for the technique. Grade 1, small amplitude near the starting position of the range. Grade 2, large amplitude. This is in the free range, where no stiffness or spasm is found. Grade 3, large amplitude. This is moving into stiffness or spasm. Grade 4, small amplitude, stretching into stiffness or spasm at the end of range position. Snodgrass et al. 2014 found that a larger applied force appears necessary for reducing stiffness and potentially pain in patients with chronic neck pain. Changes were not observed immediately after mobilization, suggesting the effect is not directly mechanical. The rhythm, speed and duration may vary due to the fact that systematic reviews of manual therapy for neck pain indicate that research is needed to determine the optimal treatment characteristics and dosages of manual therapy for effectiveness, according to Snodgrass et al. 2014. This being said, it is common practice to perform several sets of over one minute of mobilizations. Here is a technique performed again, but on a model spine to show you what to feel for.